Good evening and salutations, my Days of Elias fans. <sighs> okay, so, for the most part for me, the scenes with Connie is just at a point where they're just starting to become unwatchable. And, um, you know, I've heard people sit there and say at this point they'd rather have Jan Spears back. But the thing about Jan Spears is that Jan Spears actually had a backstory. Jan Spears, as annoying as she was, or her being over-obsessed with Sean, you know, most people felt like they brung in Jan Spears whenever they felt that Sean and, and Belle got too boring. But the thing about Jan Spears is that her reasoning for acting the way that she was acting came from trauma and not being able to properly deal with that said trauma. You know, she was our word. And from what I understand, Sean, you know, really stepped up for her, which led to this unhealthy attachment. But, but the point is, is that when she would come in and do crazy stuff and come across as kind of a crazy person, it was due to her, you know, again, her, her lack of dealing with, with her mental issues. And Connie, Connie's just a loser. Okay? Connie is just a goddamn loser at this point. Her inability to sit there and get the man that she wanted, and for her to decide she wants to go crazy on everyone else, is just pathetic. You know, I've seen, again, I've seen Lifetime movies that have been set up better than this. So, the plot the plot armor, whatever you want to say, didn't call it, it is real with this woman. Okay? Now she knows how to make a bomb. She knows how to make a bomb. She uh, knows how to do the right amount of of different, like, you know, drugs or whatever to, to poison someone. She's always been a step ahead of everyone, either by the cops just being stupid or whatever. But it's just, you know, at this point, and I'll set this in my stream, is that hopefully within the next two weeks, because it's, it's unfortunately, it's clear that they're not going to, she's not going to, she's not going to go away um, this week. So we're unfortunately kind of stuck with her. It was a saving grace in this episode. Everything else. <laughs> okay, Chad is still in denial. He's still super defensive when it comes towards Kristen. One of the things that Kristen said was, it doesn't seem like Abby's even really trying to spend any time with you or the kids or anything. Now, the kids could be one thing, but the fact that he, she's not have really been trying to reach out and spend time with you or anything like that, you don't find that would be a little alarming? He's like, no, no, I don't. And it's just like, I'm trying to give him a, a little bit of, of understanding because... You know, he wants her so he wants her back so bad that he really needs to believe this, but it's like, bro, it's not just you in the situation. You keep the the reason why is 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 irritating is that you know, he's trying to make this about his precious feelings. You have kids. And as Kristen also pointed out, when he, he was all like, Oh, this is none of your business. No, 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 no. Kristen lives in that damn house. Okay? So that is her business right then and there. And then her daughter wants to sit there and spend time with Abby and stuff like that. When can I see Anna Annie or, or whatever? So this is bigger than just you. You know, I don't I, I don't remember if he actually really dealt with his in therapy or anything like that, but it's like, bro, this isn't just about you anymore. And I really need you to stop acting like it is. Now, she had an unfortunate run-in with Connie. Connie was in the deck like her usual nasty, um, bitchy self. Talking on her breath and everything like that. I was like, honestly, tell you, I wanted Kristen to beat the living bricks out, out of her. I really did. And unfortunately, that didn't happen. So, I was disappointed. But, after she left, Chad told Kristen about the ABP, a, you know, the, about the, um, APD, APB, I think, um, 
going home. So they want to call the cops and everything. Now, Bobby goes to Mark and is all like, I don't know if I can do this, you know, this is going to get overwhelming, this is a problem, blah, 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 what was me, I'm lying. Long story short, we find out the reason why they've been doing this is when Mark gets down there to talk to Clyde, because, you know, all roads lead back to Clyde, Clyde is holding both of their mother captured. And um, if they don't do what he says, you know, she's not going to be, she's going to be six feet under. Now, he wants access to the Demera, he wants Babby to marry Chad to get access to the Demera mansion. I mean, the Demera um, money. And I mean all the money. I don't know how that's going to work. Because don't, like, they all have their own separate, um... I don't know, trust fund or whatever. Anyway, he wants all of it. So that's that's his goal. That's that's it. That's his end game. Um Steve comes down there. I don't really understand what he actually thought he was gonna get from Clyde. Because he left with nothing. And I mean absolutely nothing. He came there, he asked a bunch of questions about, you know. This whole Fabby thing and the fact that what's the connection between Fabby and, and John? You know, we found we found her in the same place that we found John. That can't be a coincidence. So he wants answers. Don't know why he thinks he's gonna get it from Clyde, but he wants answers. Then he's all like I'll tell you what, you give me those answers, I'll get you out. I got connections, I you know me, I got you. He starts laughing, and I'm just like, one, what made you think that he was actually going to sit there and be like, oh, you got me connections to get out? Sure, cool. I'll sit there and tell you everything that I know. No. You're an idiot for even sitting there thinking that was going to work. That's number one. Number two, let's just sit there and say for the sake of argument, you did have that connection, and he did believe you, that you can, you can get him out. Would you really do it? Because you know he's not going to give you anything until you let him out. Letting him out be in the exact same place where he started doing all that crap. He was on the win. He was about to go to jail. Remember all that? People got people got, got hurt. So, like, seriously, that's just a bad idea. Now, one of the things I did like that he peeped, and I'm pretty sure the job peeped, it's when Clyde was like, oh, so, uh, I was tripped on. You know, he's, he's still in China, right? Okay, I was just passing the time. Now, he did that to let him know that he can still get to his son and his family anytime he wants. Okay? He did that on purpose. Now, Yeah, like I said, Connie comes back with a bomb, um, grabs the phone that I guess fell on the ground or something like that. Um, Gabby and Melinda was talking about, well, mostly Gabby and the fact that she slept with EJ more than once and that she didn't want to admit, but, you know, she still loves Stefan. Stefan, after talking to EJ, which... You know, Stephanie was like, you know, I can, still, I can still testify, right? So you tell me, did you want to sleep in with, with, with Gabby? Because, you know, once, that too is worse. He said no. But then he gave this vague-ass answer, and I was like, just say no and just be done. But he leaves. Stephanie, infinite amount of wisdom, was like, don't you see? It's two to one. It's two to one, Ava. How about we sit there and even a score? She was like, I'm sorry, what? Then she's all like, no, I don't want to do it. That's wrong. That's insulting. It's degrading and everything like that. I don't want to be part of your sick game and everything. F your friendship and F your job offer. And he apologized. He apologized. He was like, you know what? Listen, you're right. 
which is I'm really getting angry and frustrated about what my wife is doing. And he did apologize. He was like, no, listen, that was misogynistic. I don't really see how that was misogynistic. I, I, I missed that part. That, that might have been Ava kind of on her house, on a higher horse for a minute. But the other stuff, I was like, okay, yeah, I understood that. And then I sat there, and I was like, okay, Ava, he, he, he already apologized. Right? You apologize, and you're still behind on rent. You're not going to make that up any faster by, as he quoted, slinging hash. So, how about you just sit there and just take the apology and keep moving? You know? Like, how about you just, how about you just do that? Because at this point now, you're, 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 you're backslot. She was like, I would rather do this and do that. I was like, oh, you know, at this point, go back to being a goddamn mob, mob princess. We'll just go back and doing that. Sometimes I sit and I look at it and I'm just like, Ava, you want to remind me what you're still doing on the show? Trip is gone. You don't really have anything to sit there and say that your connection with Steve is gone because Trip is gone. Most of those people in your town don't like you, which is fine, but my point is is that you don't really have a reason to stay. So every time I see you, I'm just like, why are you here? Why are you here for? Um I don't like much about it. That was the gist of the episode. Um might be some more here or there, but again, that's just the episode. If I miss anything, let me know in the comment section. Now, I will sit there and say that tomorrow, if everything pans out, like it's going to be a good one. Like it's going to be a good one. Now, EJ did find that fire poker. I sit there and mention that with blood on it. Um, it was still funny when he, um, he called... He called Gabby, he was like, your cuck of a husband is still in my face, and I can't have him give me all these problems and everything. Yeah, that's a word that they definitely could not use on um, NBC. I just need them, I need days of our lives to start making smart decisions. I really do. I love the show. Every show has its problems. Every show makes these glaring mistakes and everything like that, and I get that. I do, but like the one recent thing, but you know, it's, it's like, you know, I'm not even going to get into it. I'll, I'll do that in a live stream or something like that. I'm not even going to really get into that because I, I do have issues with the way that they went about this particular villain. You know, on one hand, Oh, wow, you know, that's really interesting. Okay, so I didn't, I didn't think it could be comedy. Like, what a... Then you make such a piss-poor villain that's so annoying that every time you see her, you roll your damn eyes. Right? So it's like... It's like, what the hell are you thinking? Anyway, if I miss anything, write in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video.